Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and today I'll be going over five dark theme mistakes that you can make in your user interfaces in Figma. So this is the dark theme I've come up with for a mobile app, and uh, this is how I would perceive a correct dark theme uh, UI to be done. And this isn't a uh, complete true black UI, this is pretty close. So the first mistake a lot of people make is using a complete black as their dark theme. And black actually reduces readability and navigation in your user interface. It actually gets harder to read uh, letters just because of the sheer contrast and the jarringness that comes at you. And then the second mistake is the saturation. So I guess it would go without saying that user interfaces shouldn't be as saturated uh, even in a light theme, but this also applies directly to the dark theme as it becomes even more jarring if you have a very pinkish pink or a high saturated blue. And you'll see that most dark themed UIs are actually more subtle in terms of their color, less saturated like this. And the third one is low contrast. So low contrast is not acceptable in any user interface in terms of readability perspective, unless it's completely intentional, but it is a very important thing to watch out for in the dark theme UI as uh, low contrast can be detrimental to your product. Uh, as you can see, this actually removes any sort of good dark theme uh, look and and actually hinders readability. And then we have the emphasis confusion. In the light theme, you can actually lower the opacity and get a different sort of message across. But in the dark theme, usually it's universally one thing is that that, uh, that element is out of focus. So as you can see, this one looks very much in focus and then these elements look out of focus. And uh, we actually don't want that. So make sure not to confuse any of your audiences by lowering the opacity. They'll think that they have to be focusing on this element right here. And then we have the shadows. As you can see, this is much more of a subtle mistake. It's hard to uh, actually point out. If you zoom in, then you can actually see that under every sort of element on this UI that there there is a shadow. You might notice that in my original correct drawing that I have an inner shadow on this, and that seems okay for its situation. But putting a shadow under everything does not actually uh, seem to enhance the user interface. It's also a redundancy just because the shadows are all black and the user interface is mostly a dark theme. So it would look better without any shadow. But that wraps up the five common mistakes I see a lot when working with dark theme user interfaces. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. See ya!